versus brushless motors. Today I want to talk about a bit of a difference between the two, what extra investment is required in order to go brushless. Some of you may know a lot of this stuff already but bear in mind there are an awful lot of people out there that want to know the differences between brushed and brushless and that hidden investment in the battery cost, the charges, etc. So, so I'm just going to talk a bit about the differences between the two today and by all means if you have liked this video then please do share with friends, it does help this channel out. Okay, well you saw an electric RC car, now this is where things get interesting. This is your typical brush setup, I've just put it on the desk here for demonstration purposes, typical brush motor, brush DSC from Traxxas, where typically powered by a nickel metal hydride battery uh, that will come with the ready to run car. However, you want to go much faster, you might consider going brushless. Okay, now if you are considering brushless, you have to bear in mind that you are going to have to get rid of these two items in the main. Most brushless setups, the ESC will take a nickel metal hydride. Right, to get the most out of your brushless investment, you really are going to need a lithium and polymer battery or LiPo. Okay, okay. for colour speed, you certainly can't beat brushless power. You will notice though, this motor has three wires, not two, like the other one did, which means you're also going to have to change the ESC for one with three wires that's suitable for brushless. This is typically an aftermarket one from Hobbywing uh, where it doesn't come with any connectors. So you're going to need to bear in mind you're either going to get your hobby shop to put one on or make sure you buy one in the first place that's got the connectors on or that you've got the technical skills and a soldering iron to fit one. The biggest expense though is going to be your changing batteries. In order to get the most out of this brushless setup you're going to need to switch to lithium polymer batteries. Now to do that you will notice this extra lead on here and that's also going to mean buying a special lithium polymer battery charger as the charging leads are very The key decision is to whether you stick with your brush setup or whether you go with brushless because nickel metal hydride batteries and their chargers are relatively low cost. Lithium polymer batteries and their chargers are a lot more expense so it's not just the switching of the uh, to the brushless motor and the brushless ESC that you need to take into account substantial part of the cost is going to be the lipo batteries and a charger to go with them so if you're thinking about going brushless even if you're not on the horizon initially if you're just purely looking at sticking with the NICAD setup and a brush setup to start with but you're thinking of that brushless version in the future for goodness sake buy a charger from the outset that can charge both types of batteries you will save yourself a lot of money in the longer run. So should you go brush to start with with your uh, first model or should you go brushless? Bear in mind if you buy an RTR car uh, both of these things are already going to be installed. I'll purely put them on the desk for demo purposes. The choice of brushed or brushless will be down to you and your confidence level. I would say personally if it was my first car that I was recommending somebody to buy I would still say stick with brush because it's a lower entry cost point um, there's a lot less things that can go wrong with it if you find it's not the right hobby for you you've wasted far less money than if you'd gone with a brushless setup to start with bear in mind a brushless car is most likely going to be going 60 70 percent faster than the brushed setup so things can go wrong are much much faster and if they do go wrong it's going to cost you a lot more money the choice is purely down to you however saying that I would say a lot of brushless setups, while well, they can take a 3S LiPo for the maximum speed, you can start off with a 2S LiPo, which is going to be far slower. Also, the lithium polymer batteries, or LiPos as they're known, will give a far greater life than nickel metal hydride ones do. So I'm kind of 50 50 on the decision. Uh, my uh, heart says lithium polymer battery and a brushless setup from the outset. My head so it's probably go for the brush one as your first also I strongly recommend that you budget for a lipo checker as well in order to heat your batteries in tip top condition and be aware of any problems they might have well I hope that the explanation of brushed versus brushless motor setups uh, helps you in your decision making process if it does that if it does then please don't forget to subscribe and by all means share with friends if you did please click on the circle image to subscribe it helps if you want to turn on the notification button next to the subscribe button.